Ok, hey, por favor. Quiet. Hello, Eduardo. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. How are things? How are things? Ajá, uh -huh. this is another way to say how are you. Ajá. Ajá. How are things? Ah, it's new new words, new new uh, model. New expression. New expression. Okay, how are things? Or how is it going? Ah. Other, it's other way, you know, because sometimes like how are you is too, too used, right? Uh -huh. Too common. Uh -huh. So common some use. people say like, how are things? How is it going? Okay. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. So you say, oh, pretty good. Thanks. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. Or not bad, right? No, what about no. yesterday? You didn't have to stay longer. No, yesterday it was normal day. I ah, okay, very nice. I uh, work uh, uh, at seven at uh, six o'clock o'clock until six o'clock. Okay, very yeah. good, nice. Ah, so it was like a normal day, right? Normal day. Okay, what about the weather? How's the weather? Um, is it cloudy? Cloudy, but no, no ra rain. It's sorry. not raining. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining. Oh, it's raining. Yeah. Here it's kind of dark. I think it's gonna rain later, but not okay. right now. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. okay. So you see, I think it's in on El Salvador, right? Yeah, it's. I read it's the news good. and and I I found out that um, they have alert for three days. So, so there sorry. is an alert. There is an alert, ah, for, alert three for three days. Three days. Mm -hmm. For three green, days. Green, green alert. Green alert. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because there are some places which are like vulnerable. So, mm -hmm. you, you know, like sometimes near the coast or near rivers, etc. Okay. okay. What Very about the, the hurricane? The earthquake. The earthquake. Oh, I earthquake. read the news that you sent. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. It was the epicenter here in, <laughs> near Ilopangos Lake. God. Yeah. Oh, but yesterday, well, yesterday I read, uh, well, I read in the afternoon that there was a little quake in the afternoon or in the morning, but I didn't ah. feel it. No, ah, I didn't okay. feel it. It was 3.5, I think, but okay. I didn't feel it. That was like maybe kind of soft. But then in the at night, when the one you told me the day before yesterday, that was pretty hard. I felt it because it was raining, you know, it was like more difficult to, to run. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I don't know if you remember a uh, in the 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 it was like an eruption of a volcano. Do you remember the eruption from San Miguel's volcano? It was yeah, in but... 2013, I think. Ah, I I you remember. I remember, yeah, but this is a no uh, uh, big eruption. It's, no, no, uh -huh. it's, uh, just the just the ash, right? Yeah. La ceniza, uh -huh. the ash. Yeah. Uh -huh. I remember. But the thing is that I was coming. I was not in El Salvador in that uh -huh. year. I was coming, okay, to El Salvador, okay. and they announced that the flight was going to be postponed. Because oh, wow. for for you know because they had a red alert, uh, airplanes could not fly near the mm -hmm. the volcano. So I had to stay for one day more. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is that when I arrived home, my father told me he collected a lot of ash, ash. from the cars. Uh -huh, from the uh, cars here in San Salvador. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, because it was kind of dark and foggy. And then I remember that that day, it was the December 30th, I arrived mm -hmm. to El Salvador, December, December 30th in 2013. Okay. And when I was in the morning here already in the house, uh, there was a, a shake. Yeah. Oh my God, I said, don't tell me. It's a volcano erupting. <laughs> shake in El Salvador uh -huh. yeah that was a little bit more more like uh you know it, for me it's scary okay yeah because uh you know I can I, I don't like to play with <laughs> with shakes or eruptions mm -hmm. those but are the, the most 
well, difficult, uh, you know, like natural disasters. But our country, the, the nicknames is um, Bailey de las uh -huh. Hamacas. De so. las Hamacas. <laughs> so, it, it, because it's common, right? Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, oh, it's hammock. Bad combination for me. Ha hammock. The hammock. Hammock, hammock uh -huh. Bailey. Uh -huh, mm. The hammock belly. Yeah, it's because of the... It's common, right? Mm -hmm. To have quakes here in El Salvador. Okay. <laughs> and what about in 2001? Were you, were you living in Santa Tecla when the earthquake happened? Do you not remember? Yes, uh, I, I... You I were lived. in Santa Tecla. Um, I lived uh, in Santa Tecla, but I don't... Uh, uh, have I didn't have I didn't I didn't have in in Santa Tecla I uh, I, I I am uh, I I have working mm -hmm. ah okay in San Salvador so you, in San Salvador you were yeah. not in Santa Tecla no, that I day. I am ah. uh, I was driving okay ah, okay in, in near near uh, Salvador eh, no Beethoven ah Beethoven well, Street uh huh Wow. Okay, so you were very lucky. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I remember the disaster from uh, Las Colinas, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay. Well, you know, memories the, that the, we have. Memories. Good or bad the, memories? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> bad memories. Bad memories, right? Bad memories, exactly. <laughs> okay, good. Well, uh, Eduardo, we are going to continue okay with the topic and today practically we're gonna finish right section number five because tomorrow we have just the the end of the the, the module right um we always have eduardo this is your first time that you are taking this course online so what we usually do the last day of uh, classes is that uh, you do the we I'm, I'm 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 gonna display the the platform okay for mm -hmm. intermediate and uh together you and i as a student we are going to um answer right the final exam okay, okay. Uh, this is uh just in case somebody has some questions or problems doing this final test you can ask okay uh, for well to clear the doubts you have also, um, we are going to have some practice, you know, oral practice, and then we finish with the, with the, we're going to give a solution to the test, right? I'm going to be here, you are going to do it, I'm not going to give you the answer, you are going to do it, and we're going to recheck and check the answers, okay, whether they could be correct, or if they are incorrect, we're going to correct them, right? That's okay. it. Yesterday, Eduardo, you, do you remember what we were talking about yesterday? the the models of necessary and suggestions. Uh -huh. And suggestions, very good. Uh -huh. yes. We practiced necessity. yesterday, necessity, uh -huh. very good. Necessity. Yesterday we said that the, the, uh, for describing necessity, we use the following models, must, must need to, have, have to, and don't, don't have, have to. to, right? Okay, if it is a, a third person, for example, you have to, when you say, ella tiene que, so you say, she has to. Okay, yesterday to. I didn't tell you this. And mm -hmm. you uh, don't have to, but if you talk about the third person, for example, uh, Jose tiene que. Jose uh, has no to. tiene, uh, has to, hasn't, Jose hasn't no to. tiene. No, in this case, uh, doesn't. Don't, does, doesn't have to. Ah, mm -hmm. that, doesn't you, have, uh -huh, has exactly. to. Exactly, uh -huh. this is he, she or he has to. Mm -hmm. And he or she doesn't have to, okay? Doesn't Those are to. Uh -huh, doesn't have to. Don't because use the auxiliary to. verb uh, mo modif uh, no modify the, the other the, verb. The other verb, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you have doesn't have. Mm -hmm. okay. And suggestions, we learned yesterday that we have these four. Do the better, which is have the better. Have oro. I said oro. yesterday to pronunciation, if you want to say oro. ought to, ought to, oh. or oro, no problem. Oro. And should, and shouldn't. Okay? And this is like strong. You know, this is the first one. Uh, you better is very strong. 
ok. Mm. Es una sugerencia bastante fuerte, you'd better, ok. Auto is the second it's, one. It's mandatory. Order, ajá, uh -huh, in order, right? In order. Auto and should order. then, and should then is like, what? Well, anyways, 50-50, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, for example, eh, for example, in your case, ok, I said this one, ok, uh, Eduardo, you'd better, you'd better finish the platform. You better finish, you know, you better do the exercises in the platform, okay? You better, it has more intensity, okay? Intensity. Oro has less intensity than you better, but this is still good. Shouldn't, shouldn't, they have less yeah. intensity, but all of them are for suggestions, right? Okay. okay. That's it. This is a, 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 a wrap up, okay, a review, because then, eh, Eduardo, I have the exercises, okay, that we are going to share, okay? Um, obviously, you are the only one here, so you are going to do the exercises, okay? And I'm going to listen to you, and I'm going to correct mistakes if you have mistakes here, okay? Read the instructions, please, Eduardo. Exercise A. Exercise A, choose the best advice for someone who is going on vacation, mm -hmm. then compare with par a partner. A partner, okay. And then compare with your teacher. <laughs> okay. So, uh, for someone who is on vacation, for example, let me, let me start before we, we do this uh, questions, okay, exercise. Uh, are you planning to go on vacation this year? This year. Mm -hmm. This year. It's um, October. So I think it's like a very good time for start thinking about, you know, planning vacations. Are you, uh, are you going to have vacations this year? Do you have any plans to go to other countries or maybe to, to stay in El Salvador to do something special? Uh, maybe in what, Guatemala, Guatemala. Mm -hmm. in, in December, maybe we we go to to intercontinental hotel. Hotel, my, okay. Ah, very hotel. good, very good. Uh -huh. my, Excellent. My mm -hmm. wife who working there. Ah, okay. Ah, and, really nice. And and they uh ha, and she had mm -hmm. and, and she had um uh como discounts no no it's a free a free five days free the years ah she has five days off ha, five days off uh, no off no off no it's a, a, a she can a, a, she can use the the hotels oh the, for five days for five days for free the, Oh my Three God, hey, that was very, very good benefit. Very yes, nice benefit for five days, it's okay. In, in, in wherever, mm -hmm. they, they have a, 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 a owner hotel. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, okay, nice, nice. And, Excellent. and we are planning to go to, to Guatemala. To Guatemala, uh -huh, to spend the five days. Okay, yeah. great. Very good. Very nice. Jose, hello, Jose. Good afternoon. Hello, how are you? I'm afternoon. pretty good. What about you? Um, fine, thanks. Fine, okay, excellent. Okay, uh, full already or empty from the stomach? No, empty. <laughs> full. Oh, empty. <laughs> empty. So you, empty. you're having lunch after the class. After class, correct. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, just Eduardo is full. <laughs> Yeah, right, Eduardo. You always eat lunch before the class. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. No. <laughs> no. It's twelve. Twelve. Twelve and a half. Ah, okay. Oh, you eat very fast. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, anyway, that was nice. Okay. Very good. Jose, I was asking Eduardo if he had planned, uh, you know, or at least he has some kind of intentions to. To have vacations and he said he he has some plans to go to Guatemala with, with his wife okay what about you Jose are you planning something for this vacation in, in December um, in December I don't have vacation only, ah, only have holidays vacations? No, only holidays oh really I, so when I, is I was, 
I was I was on the I was on vacation the last week. Mm. No. Mm. When when I when I when I was outside the class. Oh, you were on vacations for that time. Yes. Ah, okay. I, I went to El Tunco. I uh -huh, like your before. favorite place. Uh -huh, <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Hey, did you I practice like your English there? Or, or, no, <laughs> no. Um, there, there, there not. There are not gringos. Gringos for maybe for the season, ah, uh, because it's a mm -hmm. very, uh, very, very. It's I, like it's kind of. I, Quiet by this time. I was I was listening uh, Portuguese. A Portuguese, uh, Portuguese. person? Uh, no, Brazilian Portuguese. The language. Ah, the language. Ah, uh -huh. oh uh -huh. my God. Uh huh. Did you understand? No, not no. really. It was yes, a, uh, maybe um, some words, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's like to, to Spanish. Mm -hmm. Simil, quite similar. Uh, yeah, they have similar. differences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so sorry you couldn't practice your English. It would have been a very nice uh, opportunity to practice your English. Okay. Maybe next time, Jose. Okay. Maybe sorry? next maybe next time ah, yes. you can you can I, practice with someone. If you if you see if you see a foreigner, don't be afraid, huh? Just go. Go with him, okay? And try to do it normal, naturally. <laughs> hey, how do you, you, you can start like, hey, how do you like El Salvador? And they are going to look at you like, hey, so you speak Spanish or English? Oh, yeah. And you start like, there are some questions that you can use in order to break the ice. Okay. Okay. okay hey. Like this. How do you like? Hey, how do you, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué de, 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 de Salvador? Le dice, ajá. De todas formas, si ven que somos indios, nos lo vamos a volver a ver. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this is the only True. time, right? This is the only time only that time, we are going to see each other. Yeah. Uh, I, how do you say vergüenza? Eh, depends. Pena. ¿Qué vergüenza? Like this uh -huh. expression. Ah, what a shame. For, for a little, for a little time only. Uh, only for a ah <laughs> embarrassment in your case. Uh, uh -huh. ah, the, okay. the pena, right? Uh huh. You get embarrassed. I I I met a student some months ago, like about six months ago, and I asked him, "Hey, where did you learn your English?" And he said, "Traveling teacher." Traveling, I said, so you have a lot of money to travel to other countries. No teacher traveling in El Salvador and Guatemala too. Uh, really? Yes, teacher. I am very, like, he is very extroverted and he likes to meet people a lot in foreigners, okay, people from different countries. So uh, he loves to go to this beach, Jose de Tunco. And in El Tunco uh, Beach, he, he, he yes. when he goes, he looks he, for the people. He looks for the people. He looks Italian, for the opportunity to practice. Uh -huh. Italian, Brazilian. Exactly, gringos. a lot of people. Uh -huh. So he's very solo, snoopy. So usted solo como... que yo voy, uh -huh. yo voy, yo voy día de semana. De lunes ah, a día, ¿no? maybe that's it. That is for, the problem. For, uh -huh. it's, the... It's, it's, it's more cheap. It's, it's cheaper. cheaper. It's cheaper. Uh -huh. It's cheaper, very it's cheaper good. Than, than weekend. Uh -huh. Exactly. Well, you're right. You're right. From Monday to Friday. Yeah, it's true. Okay. It's cheaper. But uh, whenever you have the chance, you can practice. Okay. Okay. You promised me that you have to practice your English with an American, with a surfer. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's great. Carlita Yanes. Hello. Welcome to the class, Carla. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, one. Okay, very nice Hello, to have Carla. you here. Great, great, great. Well, we are going to start, you know, using this, um, completing these sentences, okay, for vacations. I was asking uh, Eduardo and Jose if they have plans to go on vacations because today this is the practice that we have. Remember, today we finish with, with this section, so we're going to combine, you know, going to with some models. Just to refresh your memory, those are the models that we practiced yesterday, describing necessity. We have must, need to, have to, don't have to, okay? Uh, giving suggestions, we have have better or better, do better. Oro, oro, or ought to, depends, whatever you want to pronounce it. And should, 
and negative should, okay? Then I have these sentences, guys, I have six sentences and you are three. So you are gonna, uh, you're gonna participate twice. You have to complete, okay? the sentence with the correct model. The model is here in parentheses, right? So you have to choose whether have to or the better, okay? Have better in this case. Read the sentence carefully, okay? And give me the best, um, well, not the best, but the, the correct model, okay? We are going to start with you, Carlita, okay? You read number two. Jose, you read the number two, eh, sorry, Carlita number one, Jose number two, and Eduardo number three. Okay, Carlita, please, you start. Okay, you had better make hotel reservation in advance. It might, might? It might be difficult to find a room after you get there. Okay, very good. It might be difficult to find a room after you get there. That's it. This is a recommendation, right, Carlita? Yes. Very yes, good. You'd, you'd, you'd better. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Uh, what about number two, Jose? Okay. Sorry. You must, you must carry identification with you. Is the... Is the law. Is the law. Uh huh. Very good. That's it. It's the law. This is an obligation. Must. Okay. It's That's must. it. Number three, Eduardo. Um, <clears throat> you should you should buy a round trip plane ticket because it's cheaper. It's cheaper. Very good. This is a recommendation. Okay. So you say okay in this case a suggestion should. Very good. Eduardo, number four. Uh, uh, let me read it. Pack too many clothes, you won't have room to bring back any gift. Uh, you... It's a necessity or a suggestion? Suggesting, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, you, read it. You shouldn't pack too many clothes, you won't have rooms to bring back and give. Okay, yes. any gift. Uh -huh. Very yes. good. You shouldn't pack too many clothes, okay? This is a recommendation, right? That's it. Number five, Jose. Okay, you auto check of, out of most hotel rooms by noon if you, if you don't want to pay for another night. For another night, okay. If you don't want to pay for another night, okay, pay, that's you it. You pay uh -huh. another night. Pay another. for another night. You auto, auto. You auto, you auto. You auto check out of, okay, that's check it. Okay, check auto, check out. Check out of mass hotels. Repeat, hotels. Hotels. Okay, exactly, very good. Number six, Carlita. You auto buy a new suitcase because your old one is getting shabby. Shabby, very good. Well, in this case, uh, because your old one is getting shabby, is getting, let's see, in bad conditions, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's a, it's a suggestion or it's a necessity? What do you think? I think, I think... If you're traveling, if you're traveling, you have to, huh? And the person gives yeah. you the reason because the old Both. one is getting shabby. Because Both. he's... <laughs> I think... Mm -hmm teacher i'm sorry can you repeat carlita oro you oro buy a new okay. suitcase suitcase uh-huh I, I think both cases yeah i i consider that you need a little bit more context to to choose one in a specific okay? correct, yeah. yeah because in this case i could be like a for example, I can say, mira, comprate, tené, co te, debete comprar una porque esta se está poniendo vieja. No, todavía aguanta. Okay, so that's very, very different. Okay, that's it. Okay, so. But, uh, but is, si, está, uh -huh. si está roto o, o estropeado. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. that's why it says, because the old one is getting shabby. Uh -huh. It's not uh -huh. in good condition. So in this case, it could have be a to. necessity, right? That's what you say, you have to. You have to, okay? 
in in I think we we need to we need to see a little bit more in context, okay? But in my in my in my perspective, I I have to well I I would choose have to, okay? okay. Have to in this case because it's a necessity because it's a, 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 a something that you need, okay? Maybe maybe a a a, a coat to graduate. Yeah, can you imagine if you're gonna use that for graduation? Uh -huh, something important uh -huh. is a necessity, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's for traveling, I think it's very important to have this, right? Okay, that's it, very nice guys. Now I'm gonna present, okay, this part for you. This is your listening, this is the first one that we're gonna do today, tourist tips, okay? Carlita, can you read instructions, exercise A? Exercise A, listen to an interview with a spokeswoman from the New York City Visitor Center. Check the four topics she discusses. Uh -huh, discusses. Discusses. Okay, very good. Tourist tips. So she's going to talk about different things about trips and visitors, okay, for the city. There are, in this case, five topics. Eating out, history, money, planning a trip, and safety. What you have to do is to pay close attention to what she's describing, and then you have to choose the topics, okay? Four topics that she is discussing. One topic is gonna be out, okay? Then, the exercise B, Carlita. Exercise B, listen again. For each topic, write one piece of advice she gives. Okay, perfect. For example, if she starts talking about money and you know, oh, she's talking about money, then you want, I want you to pay closer attention to the audio and you have to write one sentence, okay, giving me the advice she gives in her speaking, okay? Uh, you can use oro, should I have better, uh, should or shouldn't, depends, okay? Depends what she says here. Okay, I'm going to play it, okay, uh, three times. So I hope you can have the answers. Then we're going to check the answers together. Okay. Page 34, exercise 9. Listening. Tourist tips. Part A. Listen to an interview with a spokeswoman from the New York City Visitor Center. Check the four topics she discusses. What should people do to make their visit to New York City safe and pleasant? Don't try to do too much in a short time. That's very important. You should start planning before you get here. You ought to decide in advance which sites you most want to see. Are there any good tours available? Oh, yes, there are many. Some companies offer bus tours that stop at all the major tourist attractions. You can buy a pass so you can get on and off wherever you like. That saves you time. And you should visit our website to find out about the latest tours and special events. I see. And is New York a safe city for visitors? It's safer than many cities in the world. But just like in any big city, you should still be careful. For example, don't go off on your own, especially at night, and never carry much cash on you. Oh, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Even American visitors have to ask for help when they come here. You'll find that New Yorkers are pretty friendly. They like welcoming visitors to their city and are happy to give directions. One last thing. Is it an expensive city to visit? It can be, but there are a lot of places in the city where you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you're a student, you should bring your student ID card with you. That way, you can get a discount at museums and galleries. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, just that most people have a great time when they come to New York, and I'm sure you will too. Page 34, Exercise 9, Listening, Tourist Tips, Part A. 
Listen to an interview with a spokeswoman from the New York City Visitor Center. Check the four topics she discusses. What should people do to make their visit to New York City safe and pleasant? Don't try to do too much in a short time. That's very important. You should start planning before you get here. You ought to decide in advance which sites you most want to see. Are there any good tours available? Oh, yes, there are many. Some companies offer bus tours that stop at all the major tourist attractions. You can buy a pass so you can get on and off wherever you like. That saves you time. And you should visit our website to find out about the latest tours and special events. I see. And is New York a safe city for visitors? It's safer than many cities in the world. But just like in any big city, you should still be careful. For example, don't go off on your own, especially at night, and never carry much cash on you. Oh, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Even American visitors have to ask for help when they come here. You'll find that New Yorkers are pretty friendly. They like welcoming visitors to their city and are happy to give directions. One last thing. Is it an expensive city to visit? It can be, but there are a lot of places in the city where you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you're a student, you should bring your student ID card with you. That way, you can get a discount at museums and galleries. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, just that most people have a great time when they come to New York, and I'm sure you will too. Page 34, Exercise 9, Listening. Tourist Tips, Part A. Listen to an interview with a spokeswoman from the New York City Visitor Center. Check the four topics she discusses. What should people do to make their visit to New York City safe and pleasant? Don't try to do too much in a short time. That's very important. You should start planning before you get here. You ought to decide in advance which sites you most want to see. Are there any good tours available? Oh, yes, there are many. Some companies offer bus tours that stop at all the major tourist attractions. You can buy a pass so you can get on and off wherever you like. That saves you time. And you should visit our website to find out about the latest tours and special events. I see. And is New York a safe city for visitors? It's safer than many cities in the world. But just like in any big city, you should still be careful. For example, don't go off on your own, especially at night, and never carry much cash on you. Oh, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Even American visitors have to ask for help when they come here. You'll find that New Yorkers are pretty friendly. They like welcoming visitors to their city and are happy to give directions. One last thing. Is it an expensive city to visit? It can be, but there are a lot of places in the city where you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you're a student, you should bring your student ID card with you. That way, you can get a discount at museums and galleries. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, just that most people have a great time when they come to New York, and I'm sure you will too. Okay, guys. Okay, the, the audio was uh, running three times, right? So right now we're going to check, okay, the four topics that she discusses, okay? Let's start. Carlita, can you mention one? You should plan in visit uh -huh. New York. Plan, okay, uh, eating out, history, money, planning a trip or safety? Planning a trip. Planning a trip, okay, very good. This is number one. Continue, Eduardo, with the second one. Safety. Safety, okay, yeah. very good. Jose, can you give me the third I'm, one? I'm sorry, I logged out for um part. Ah, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, so, okay, yeah. okay, don't I'm worry. Confused. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. So, Carlita, can you give me the number three? Money. 
Money, very good. And she mentioned uh, something related to money. And the last one, Eduardo. I uh, I I understood I understood about tours. About tours, uh huh? Uh, tours uh, where? Is it the 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 six? Where? Uh huh. Because we have safety. Then uh, planning a trip. The number one safety. Uh -huh. Number three is money. And the last one, the number four, history or eating out. Es que hay, hay una sexta tours. Mm, she mentioned, okay, tours, but oh. it's not, it's, okay. It's, it's, it's in the slide. Yes, uh, history or, 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 or this one. You mentioned tours? Oh. History, uh, history, uh, he, uh, they mentioned or she mentioned about the, the, the museums. Uh-huh, uh, very good. The history. discounts, right? The yeah, discount in the, the museum. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. So, what do you, what do you think? Is history or tours? History. <laughs> History. <laughs> okay. Well, she mentioned something at the end. Listen, listen to this Page part. 30. Hey. When they come here, you'll find that New Yorkers are pretty friendly. They like welcoming visitors to their city and are happy to give directions. One last thing. Okay. Is it an expensive city to visit? It can be, but there are a lot of places in the city where you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you're a student, you should bring your student ID card with you. That way, you can get a discount at museums and galleries. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, just that most people have a great time when they come to New York, and I'm sure you will too. Okay, so Carlita, what do you think? Is Eduardo said history. Okay, so what do you think? History or tours, Carlita? Oh, I think history. History, okay, related to galleries, you know, arts, okay, mm. museums, okay, oh, that's it, okay, yes. very good. Now, what what did she say or what kind of suggestion she gave related to money? You remember, Eduardo? Um, uh, no. <laughs> you don't remember? Okay, Carlita, do you remember about money? No. The advice? Please. No. She gives uh, some pieces of advice related to, to money. Okay. I'm going to play this, this, this part again, and you give me the answer, please. You should start planning before you get here. Listen. You ought to decide in advance which sites you most want to see. Are there any good tours available? Oh, yes. There are many. Tours. Some companies offer bus tours that stop at all the major tourist attractions. You can buy a pass so you can get on and off wherever you like. That saves you time. And you should visit our website to find out about the latest tours and special events. I see. And is New York a safe city for visitors? It's safer than many cities in the world. But just like in any big city, you should still be careful. For example, don't go off on your own, especially at night, and never carry much cash on you. Oh, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Even American visitors have to ask for help when they come here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, what did she say about money? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't, no, no, uh, it's not recommendable to... It's not recommendable? Uh-huh. Recommendable much cash. Uh-huh. To have? To have cash. Uh-huh. Cash with you. A lot of cash, right? A lot of cash. With yeah. you, yes, because it's dangerous. It has, so maybe you could have plastic money, you know, credit plastic cards money. or debit cards, etc. But not, not to carry. Uh-huh. Very good. Related to tours, she said that you can take, uh, you know, different tours saying you should get up a, a pass. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes, it's true. <laughs> very good. About the tours. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, these tours are very nice because you can, you can get on the bus, get off the bus whenever you want and you don't pay, you know, you just pay a pass and that's it. Yeah, I I I uh, I I have uh -huh. the this ex 
his experiences in New York. Experience. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Did you, uh, did you a pass take a bus tour? And, and move and move in the in the in the subways and the buses uh, for for one week. You, oh, you very nice. Be free and mm -hmm. in, in whatever. How much did you pay for this pass? Uh, around remember. around thirty thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, but uh, you have poof, illimited. Well, illimited. Uh huh. In the, in the subways and the in the buses. Okay, very good. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, very good. Excellent. You know, like every other country, she said, it is not, okay, you'd better, you'd better go out in the mornings, at night, you shouldn't walk alone, right? I think in El Salvador is the same, talking a little bit about safety, okay? And you should plan your trip always in advance. This is important, right? That's it. Uh, what happens, Carlita, if you are a student? Um, what happens, she mentioned something, if you are a student? What's going on if you are a student? Oh, um, no, teacher, I, I, I don't remember. You don't it's, remember? No, uh, no. Part of? It's counting in many, in many uh, for example, in the passes, in the, the passes, the pass. uh huh, galleries, the galleries, and museums. And, yeah, exactly. Uh huh. If you are a, if you are a, a student in New York, she said you should bring your ID, your student ID, mm. right? Because with that student ID, you have discounts. Okay, that's okay. it. Very very good. Uh huh. That's it. This is quite similar. Okay, to El Salvador. So. Right now, guys, this is what you are gonna do, okay? Uh, so, Eduardo, you are going to ask uh, Carlita the questions related to uh, vacations. And Carlita, you ask Eduardo, okay? Uh, you are going to ask these questions. Question number one, where are you going to go on your next vacation? Question number two, what are you going to do? So I want you to mention like three, four activities, okay? What are you going to do? And number three, why did you choose that? Or why did you choose that uh, trip? For example, if you ask me, I am going to go to, uh, let me see, El Tunco Beach, for example. I'm going to stay in El Salvador. I'm going to go to El Tunco Beach. Teacher, why did you choose that? Uh, because El Tunco Beach is a good place to relax and practice my English, right? With people from other countries. Okay, that would be my my answer. Here, what are you going to do for your next vacations? You, I want you to be very specific and tell me the place where you are thinking, okay, to travel. The number two, what are you going to do? Remember, if you are sure, you use going to. But going if to. you don't know, you use will, okay? That's it. These are the the ones that we practice, okay, so Jose is back. So we are going to practice this. I'm going to, I'm going to take pictures of the, the questions so you can practice the questions right now with your partners, okay? That's it. I'm gonna send the questions to you right now. And there we go, let's practice. And then we're gonna check the answers, right? Let's practice it. Let's see. Let's uh, accept the invitation right now. Let's work together, guys, preparing the answers for the following questions. Okay. You first or I? What, what do you want? Okay, I I first. You are first, okay. Where are you going to go on your next vacation? Um uh, I'm going to go 
to Guatemala. Okay. What are you going to do in Guatemala? Um, I'm going to to visit Sue and and I will visit Antigua, Guatemala, and yeah. maybe I will visit a Catoc yeah. restaurant. Okay. Uh, why did uh, why did you choose that? Well, I I really enjoyed the uh, the the nature and the animals and and for uh, for then I I I I going to visit the zoo and oh. the weather is is very nice in Antigua and and the city and the the city Guatemala. The weather is is a main uh, a main uh, thing important to choose that. Okay. And and you, what about you? Where are you going to go on your next vacation? Okay, with security, I am going to go to Santa Ana. With my family, I visit the grandmother. I am going to visit, I am future. I am going to visit the grandmother. My grandmother. Grandma. My grandmother. Excellent. Mm -hmm. oh, he, he, what, what are you going to do? Okay, uh, with my family, uh, I'm going to go uh, to Chalchuapa City. Mm. I'm going to eat fried yuca. yuca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go uh, Está su mal? El casumal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's funny. La it's Laguna de Cujachapa. Really yes, visit. Excuse Chalchuapa. me. Excuse me. What lag? What lagoon? Repeat the name. Cuscachapa, I think Cuscachapa. the name. Is yes. a lagoon? Ah, oh, really? Yes. Can you, can you swim in that lagoon? No, no. It's a little. It's it's very is uh it's dirty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, it's dirty. It's, Oh, okay. Yeah, no, okay. no, it's no, it's for swimming. No, I, I think me, uh, any, anything, uh, or, or, or no fishing, no fishing. Ah, there. okay. So it's there. There is no life in that lagoon. No. Ah, okay. The, the, the good, the good lagoon is a uh, apaneca. Apaneca lagoon. Ah, okay. It's very okay. nice. It's small, but it's uh, mm -hmm. very, very nice. So Carlita, your grandmother is from uh, from from Santa Ana. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And what neighbor neighbor who is live your mother? Oh, that, that's your grandmother live. That's your ma grandmother live. What Very what good. name? What neighborhood? Where do you live in Santa Ana? I. I grew up in Santa Ana. Oh, in the center or in a near terminal. Terminal oh. buses. Bus station. Uh -huh. Bus station. Uh, Adolfo Pineda. <laughs> near. The stadium. And uh, no, must. It's a. Uh, it's front than the the bus station. Okay, the weather in Santa Ana it's beautiful. Mm. I don't know well, Santa Ana. <laughs> well, I I don't no, I don't think, do think? I don't think the same. Nah, it's hot. For me, it's hot, but ah, okay. I I live in Santa Tecla. Remember? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is cold. 
It's different. Mm -hmm. Santa Tecla is more. Ah, okay. More, more how many cold. How many days are you going to travel, or are you going to stay with your grandmother, Carlita? Oh, only three days. Oh, only three days. Okay, very yes. good. Are you Are you planning to go somewhere else after three days? Um, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Will, Where? Uh -huh. I will. I will visit El Progreso in Guatemala. Ah, okay. Excuse me. What is El Progreso? El Progreso is a limit to Santa Ana. Ah, really? Yes. It's a town. Um. Yes. Oh, okay. Do you have family there? Any yes. relatives? Friends. Yeah. Ah. They live. Uh, my friends live uh -huh. in El Progreso. Ah, okay. Very good. So you, you will the, come to different in, places. In the Guayabo Mountain. Ah, really? <laughs> in Guayabo. You know, Yes, Guayabo Mountain en Pino Dulce. Oh my God. So you will go there for, so I can, because of the names, I can infer that those places are with a lot of vegetation. No. Is it, is it a mountain or something? No, it's a town. No, it, it's mountain. It's a mountain. Ah, okay, very good. You ought to, you ought to visit the, the lake. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Uh, Cascada. Cascada. That's is, that is in Santa Ana or Guatemala? In Guatemala. In Guatemala. Ah, okay. Yeah, but it's Guatemala. near, near Santa Ana. Uh, yes. Okay. El, el, do you say El Progreso or El, por, or el Portezuelo? El Progreso, in Guatemala. It's near, near Candelaria, Jutiapa. Ajá, uh -huh. ah, in it's, Jutiapa. It's in, in Huachapán, La Chinamas, mm -hmm. uh, border, borderline. No, no, I, I, salimos, yeah. I, I, I go I went, from, I went out, ajá. Uh -huh. I went out, uh, to Santa Ana. From Santa Ana. Ah, okay. From Santa Ana, yes. Mm -hmm. ah. yes. Ah, okay, very good. So when you, after you visit your grandmother, you, you will go and visit your your friends. Ah. Wow. Big exactly. Trip. Big trip, I found, Carlita. I found, I found, it's, it's near Asunción Mita, Jutiapa. Ah, Jutiapa. exactly. El Progreso, and I, 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 I found. You found it? Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. So, Carlita, you will go there. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. You, you, you will have beautiful vacations. So, your vacations are for when, eh, Carlita? For December or for November, October? I don't know. I have, I have much vacation. A lot, a lot. A lot. I have a lot of vacation in, uh, in March, in uh -huh. August, in December, in December. And, and 15 days to year. A year. Wow. A year. Well, you have a lot of vacations. Yes. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. I didn't know that. Good, good. So, uh, Eduardo, you are planning to go to Guatemala in December, right? Yeah, in December. Ah, okay. Okay. So, Carlita, in, in, in Carlita, in December? Or Maybe. <laughs> no, December, right, Carlita? Yes. Yes, yeah. in December or January. Or Ah, okay. Okay, or January. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. I have... I have 10 days free. 10 days in free? Ah, oh ten my God. <laughs> in A January. Lot of vacations, Carlita. Very nice. Ten se, days. Une, se une the vacation with uh, free days. Ah, okay. So that's why in total it's 10 days. 
-hmm. Okay. Okay, yes. really good. The last question, Eduardo. One question is missing. Por why, qué did you uh -huh. why did you choose that? Oh, uh, because it's important visit the grandmother. Mm -hmm. Check your health. Check uh, your your house. Hair. 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 Her health, her house. Her health, her house, mm -hmm. etc. Okay, how old is your grandmother, Carlita? Uh, how was? No, how old? How old? Uh, old. Uh, okay, uh, she is 16, 16 years old, maybe. 16. Six, no, 16 or 16? <laughs> 16. No, 60. 66. Six, 16. No, 60. No, 60. 60 Ajá, years yes, old. 60 years old. Sí, no es 16, Carlita. Very oh, old. No, no, no. It, it, <laughs> uh -huh. 60. Years 60 years old. old. Oh, she's very young. Yeah. Ah, yes. She's very young. Okay, very good, very good. That's your grandmother. Your, your mother's mother or your father's mother? Yeah. Um, Two, the grandmother live with the grandfather, mm -hmm. with your mother. My mother? <laughs> no, your... Uh, her mother. Her, her mother, her ah, mother. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. So all the family is there. Good. Okay, yeah. very nice. You will have fun, okay, uh, visiting, you know, the family. That's great. Very good. So I'm very happy to listen to you because when you are not sure, remember, you use will. And when you are sure, you use be going to. Okay, that's mm -hmm. very important to, to have and to remember. Okay, that's it. Okay. The models, remember the models, okay, for giving suggestion. Be Carlita me dijo, you oro, me dijo, visit. Okay, very nice that you are using the structures that we are studying in classes, right? That's it. Well, the day for tomorrow, we have uh, the, the final test and also we have more practice, oral practice. I like to listen to you, so this is the chance for you to practice, okay, your structures orally. We're going to practice, okay, different questions. Quiero darles preguntas, digamos, libres, right, free questions, so you can talk and talk and talk. This is something nice that we could have, okay? Remember, English uh, improves when you practice. If you never practice your English, then uh, it's going to be difficult to, to speak, okay? Mostly if you want to speak a language. Very nice. So, my friends, I will, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much for your practice, for your information. And I do hope your plans for these coming vacations can come true. Okay, that's it. Uh, remember, if you go to Guatemala, bring canillitas for the teach. <laughs> <laughs> Don't okay. forget the canillitas, right? Thank yeah. you guys for joining the class today. Okay, you, I will you. see you tomorrow you. at one. Take care, guys. Okay. Thank yes. you, teacher.